The weather is warming up a bit, which means we can finally leave our homes. We've got our guy, Zach Stimmer, with this week's Roundup. Hello. Hi. I'm so excited that you're here because this is a big weekend. Today, we're expecting a high of 40. Tomorrow, a high of 40 as well. Thank Sunday, maybe God. some rain and snow, but we're not going to focus on that. No. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to be able to, like, go out with my dog and, like, have a normal day. <laughs> you it's have just, a dog? Yeah. She hates me, but I have one. Oh. <laughs> I love her. She tolerates you. She says she just is feed ambivalent me and leave towards me, alone. me on a good day. Oh my God! Okay, we'll talk about that a little later. I'll show you photos. Let's, let's get to the first event. So the yes. Chicago Polar Bear Plunge. So super excited that is it's this a little what I warmer think it is? It than is what I think it is. normal. Uh, yeah. So the Chicago Polar Bear Plunge is held by the Chicago Polar Bear Club. Uh, and this benefits uh, a local family in need. They pick one or two families every year, and all of the proceeds from this go to that family. Um, as you can see, it's exactly what you think. You, you go to Oak Street Beach tomorrow at noon, and people jump in the lake, and thank God it's going to be warmer. Oh my gosh! Don't people normally do this in their in their ba in their birthday suits? Uh, I think bathing suits are, are encouraged slash mandatory. <laughs> Would you do it? How much do I have Ooh. to pay you? It's for charity. To you donate to your pay. time. I, I would do it in a heartbeat. It's for a great cause. Yeah, really? Okay, everyone heard that. <laughs> oh, this is going to come don't back and bite me words. so hard. Don't take you. We're, we got those words. Okay, I let's know. move on. Yeah. I don't know. I think you could probably just write the check and still be okay. I don't have to freeze. I can just write the check. There it's we fine. go. There we go. <laughs> Dia de la Concha. Did I yeah, say it right? You did. I practiced. Look at you abla-ing uh -huh, like a pro. Abla, I abla all the time. <laughs> so uh, so Dia de la Concha that? is at Talia Hall in Pilsen on... Sunday, and it is exactly what you think. So, uh, concha is like a Mexican pastry. It's like a sweet bread, a pan dulce. Thanks for and, filling um, us in. <laughs> well, if you didn't know, I'm just letting you guys in on it. And they have all of these great Mexican bakeries coming with these uh, conchas, and there'll be, you know, mariachi music and Mexican drinks, specialty cocktails, um, dancing, it. everything. And it's no cover. And then all of the proceeds go to Elevarte, which um, creates kind of in school and out of school art programs for kids in need. Okay, I know you're super excited about this one because you've been talking about it all week. I am so jazzed. <laughs> <laughs> Trolls actually visits Maggie Daly Park tonight. They're going to promote a new series on Netflix. Yeah, so you basically summed it up. Starting at 5 o'clock tonight in Maggie Daly Park, the trolls that we've all come to know and love thanks to Justin Timberlake, he's coming up a lot in this show. Um, Wait, so he stars in it? Excuse me. He for gives not his knowing. voice. Yeah. His voice, he stars in it. His voice stars in it? His voice stars in okay. it. Okay. But I actually think we have a few of our troll friends joining us on the show later, so that'll be fun. I'm super excited. You know, these kids' movies, I always feel, I don't want to say I feel bad, but I feel bad going to them. No, they I have things have for kids. adults in them too. I need to borrow some kids because, like, no. well, I need to borrow some kids because we're like grown adults, like going to. You can't borrow kids. <laughs> That's called abduction. Like, don't do that. No, no. I, the people, <laughs> please, people that have multiples, they'd be like, take, take my kids. <laughs> just, just take them. My take sister's them. constantly trying to pawn them off. I'm like, yes. I didn't do this. I don't want this. Okay, if you guys have some kids out there, let me borrow them so I can go see all these kids' movies. Totally. It's actually, if you haven't seen Trolls, the movie, it's adorable, and the new Netflix show should be in incredible. Okay. I gotta ask you, what are the hottest restaurants going around town this weekend? Oh, my God. So the hottest restaurant in town is still probably Gibson's Italia. Um, I really? love that place. But a new restaurant, Marchesa, just opened last night. Uh, it's Italian food, and it is a phenomenal vibe. It's dance, it's drinks, it's delicious pastas. Um, it's everything. So, okay, so what do you do? I know that you get around town a lot, <laughs> but I know that you also can't make every single event. What does a typical weekend look like for you? Oh my God, it's everything. You know, you have to go and experience the most of the city. So I do want to hit up Marquesa uh, this weekend. I didn't get to go to the opening party last night and I'm so bummed. I, I see the Instagrams and I FOMO so hard. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of the goal for the weekend. But uh, I experienced something brand new last night. I went to Adler After Dark at the Planetarium. And oh, it wow, was I've never done like that. the most fun experience. If you Isn't it crazy how you live in Chicago your whole life? Never did and it. And there's so many things that I still haven't done. Exactly. It was incredible. There are drinks and no kids at the planetarium. I was like, this is what it's all about. This is okay, it. Okay, says the, the single non-kid person here. That's you that's guys. What up? All right. You keep us, you keep us all grounded. <laughs> For a complete list, check out chicagosplash.com.